Hi, my name is Ted Fitch and I'm with QDabber Software and today I'm excited to share with you the latest feature of DBXL, our client uh, dashboard, our client version of DBXL. Um, this is a new version uh, that actually installs on your laptop or on your desktop and uses a local SQL Server or SQL Express uh, instance on your uh, computer uh, to do reporting. Um, over the years uh, with all of our customers uh, the common theme that we've uh, heard about SharePoint is that repeating data uh, from the promoter properties and InfoPath can't be reported on easily out of SharePoint. Uh, also a lot of our customers have told us that their IT won't let them install tools on servers. There's quite a bit of work involved in uh, getting a server tool set up. So we've come up with the client version of DBXL. Um, no IT support needed. You can just install this on your local machine. Uh, and if you have read access to your document library in SharePoint, you can report on the forms. Uh, and because the data is in SQL, uh, it's very flexible. You define the mapping from your form to SQL. You define your reporting. It's up to you. Uh, and the tool is really very easy to use. I'm going to show it to you here in just a second. Um, basically, the steps that we go through um, are pretty straightforward. Uh, you take the template from SharePoint. Uh, from the library where you want to do the reporting from and you add that to a local DBXL instance um, on your computer. You create your tables in SQL. You define the mapping. This makes it very flexible for uh, your reporting needs. Uh, you configure the mapping in um, our tool. Uh, you simply configure our dashboard form and you synchronize and uh, voila you have an Excel report which I will show you here in just a second. Uh, to give you a quick overview uh, so you can see exactly what I'm going to show you. We have our document library in SharePoint here on the left um, and then our client computer where we have a um, the DBXL dashboard which talks to a local SQL instance uh, through a locally installed DBXL uh, and then the reporting comes right out of Excel. So I'm just going to jump through um, to the form that we have here. Um, we have the expense report form published in uh, SharePoint uh, as a browser form. Uh, we have the top level of the form and then the repeating itemized expenses here. Um, and this is my child table. Uh, so if we take a look quickly at SharePoint, we can see our library over here. Um, we have the expense report form here. Uh, and I'll use this form that I've, I've created here at the end to show you how um, everything can continue to synchronize with documents as users add them uh, into um, SharePoint. So the first thing that I want to do is go to my DBXL admin tool and here I have a um, document type that's already been created um, where I have added the template from SharePoint uh, and I have added a database mapping. I've already created these tables uh, in SQL uh, and here we have the tables uh, right here, the two tables uh, for the top level and the child tables um, populated with no data at this point because I haven't synchronized. I simply go over to my dashboard form which is a new InfoPath form that you install on your client machine uh, and I'm going to customize this and I want to add the expense report form that I added in DAT. I want to synchronize with SharePoint and I want to pull it from the library that I just showed you where I have the browser form. Um, and this is all I have to do. I just click Save. Uh, I can hit on Expense Report now. I've created it. And notice I have no documents in the Expense Report. And if I switch back to my uh, DAT tool, um, you'll see there are no documents in here either because we haven't synchronized. So I'm going to go ahead and synchronize real quick. This will take just a second while the documents are downloaded from SharePoint. Um, there are 11 forms in there and we can see that I've downloaded 11 successfully. If I go back to my admin tool and refresh, I will see 11 forms here in the admin tool. And if I go back to SQL, I can now execute here and we can now see here are the 11 forms and here are all the child elements associated with all of the itemized expenses. And now the best part is I have created a simple Excel report pulling from SQL um, that's going to pull this information into a meaningful way for me. Let me go ahead and refresh this 
and now we can see all that data from SQL that I just showed you uh, and I can now refresh my report and look at this I've got itemized expenses by employee over here here's the category for their expenses and this gives me a nice meaningful um, way to report on this information now if I switch back to SharePoint and let's go back to the document that I've created I'm gonna go ahead and save this form and this is a um, demo expense form let's go ahead and save this form and I can switch back to my admin tool or my dashboard tool and go ahead and download manually download and we should see one document has been created so there's one document one successful 11 skip because the rest are in sync let's go back to Excel and now I can simply refresh over here and then refresh the pivot table and we should see the new Joseph Pardo expense show up for the company barbecue so to talk about the requirements for dashboard um, the client version works with XP Vista and Windows 7 we support all three of um, the most recent Microsoft um, operating systems uh, you do need IIS installed on your server or on your uh, client machine um, and you need SQL Server or SQL Express SQL Express is the free version of SQL from um, Microsoft and we do support SharePoint 2007 and SharePoint 2010 libraries so I hope you enjoyed this demo today, and I hope it great, gave you a good idea of how uh, DBXL Dashboard works. Uh, please do contact us at uh, qsales, qsales at qdabber.com for more information, and I'd be happy to set up a demo for you. Thanks so much.